Hazel gets down. Your sweepstakes take it so bad, Mr. B? Well, Hazel are against the law, and it's especially bad when they're selling to high school kids. You see, when these gambling interests gain a foothold, they open up a door to even far greater corruption. No, no, don't open that either, Mr. B. Well, what's the matter? What's going on around here? Well, why don't you just wait to open these things? Why don't you go in the other room and I'll bring you some nice hot hors d'oeuvres? Hazel, I don't want hot hors d'oeuvres. A minute ago, you were ready to serve dinner. Uh, Dorothy, you know what this is all about? Well, uh, maybe Hazel has a surprise for you, George. Yeah, that's right, Missy. So, Mr. B, why don't you... Hazel, I'm staying right here until I get to the bottom of this. Oh, boy! <laughs> You can open your glove now. Oh, oh yes, you can open that, Mr. B, but don't open anything else. Are you uh, sure this is my size? Well, it's the size I bought. Well, uh, maybe my hand is swollen then. Because of for shaking so many hands for the mayor? Yes, yes, that's it. I'll tell you what, son. Uh, would you take and break it in for me? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For hey. he's a jolly... Hey, so what are you doing with the cake? We haven't even finished dinner yet. I know we haven't started because you're so anxious to open your presents. For he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> Go on, blow out the candles, Mr. B. Hey, so this is ridiculous. Oh, well, now listen. I've never done anything in all the years I've been working for you without a good reason. And if you think now is the oh, time... Oh, of course not, Hazel. Uh, go on, George. Go on, don't be a grouch. <laughs> okay, but I still say there's something screwy going on around here. See if you can get them all at once. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> there. Boy, it's sure dark in here. Oh, turn on the light, Hazel. What's the matter? Where's the switch? Well, where it's always been. <laughs> here, I'll get it. <laughs> now, I'll serve the soup and you can open your presents. <laughs> I'd have sworn there was a green bow on here. <laughs> Handkerchiefs. Well, they're very nice, George. Well, yes, but she always gives me handkerchiefs. <laughs> I thought this year I'd be surprised. <laughs> Sake. You didn't tell me when you had a shortcut that it was through a uh, briar patch. Briar patch? Oh, my gosh. You must have fallen into the mayor's prize rose bushes. <laughs> well, no matter what I fell into, it's nothing compared to the trouble we're already in. Did you know that your boss made Mr. B a member of a committee investigating gambling? Especially gambling on sweepstake tickets? Oh. <laughs> oh, Hazel. What am I gonna do? I bought one ticket. What'll my boss say when he finds out I sold a whole book full? Well, we just can't let him find out. No, Mr. B, neither. You won't let him know where you got it. Oh, getting you mixed up in it ain't gonna do me no good. Oh, Hazel, I should have known I could count on you. Well, we'll just pretend like it never happened. Yeah. And you take the ticket back, and then we'll take Mr. B's name out of the book. Uh. <laughs> you might as well keep the ticket. You mean you won't take the ticket back? I mean, I can't take it back. I already turned the book in. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, uh, maybe with all the tickets they sell, maybe Mr. Baxter's won't win and then nobody will know. But you said you had a feeling that this ticket was going to be the winner. You still have the same feeling? More than ever. <laughs> Furthermore, the plaintiff alleges that his first knowledge of the existence of said mortgage on the above-described parcel of real estate was on the date of... It won't take a minute. Just one minute. It won't take a minute. Just one minute. Mr. Baxter, please, please, Miss Scott. I'm sorry, Mr. Baxter. I tried to explain you were busy, but these reporters insisted on seeing you. Reporters? Oh, oh, yes, and this telegram just came. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Scott. Mr. Baxter, 